Hey, Niner Niner, this is Chris Bark checking in for yet another video on Endless Things. Alrighty, here we have ourselves. A, yeah, I'm going to stop there right now. Uh, all right, Blue. <laughs> so we have a number of things which are transparent um, in some way, and those create challenges if they're transparent or they're very thin. Um, we can do it, but it has to really be worth it. Um, one of the things you will note with stuff that is transparent is that it's not fully, um, it, it's not fully uh, transparent. There is a little bit of a, um, Oh, okay. Well, if I switch this over to fade mode, actually, come to think of it, I can use fade for all of these. It's, it's a different method of handling it, which, again, is something I learned in the other game that I'm working on. Um, so maybe that's all I need to do is just switch to using fade and the equivalent. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, fine. So... Yeah. All right. Well, never mind. Um, okay. So, what that does mean, though, is that uh, for the things that are <clears throat> intended to be handled as transparent, um, I can't, uh, well, um, Pepe Solo and Golden Wolf can't merge the materials for anything that is. Uh, opaque with something that's transparent. Uh, transparent is more expensive to render because it has to be sorted. Um, I don't know how familiar you are with this whole Z fighting thing and the Windows ordering. Window, it's just a classic example of windows and houses and sorting them. Uh, <clears throat> but um, it, it makes the GPU do some extra work. Sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not. In the case of something like the shield uh, constructor here, um, making it so that you've got this kind of cool effect that's on the inside and on the outside, you know, that is theoretically worth it. However, let me point out that over here, sorry, my um, focal distance is off. Over here, you've got essentially the same idea, the same effect. This is the shield generator, but this is completely opaque. And so you've layered what looks like something transparent on something that's opaque, yet it doesn't actually have any true transparency. Um, I would argue that when we can do this, we should, um, because that is more efficient on the GPU it can all be batched into one thing, um, and it's just easier to work with in general. Um, so, food for thought. Um, it, it you know it can go kind of either way. Then we have deals like this. Now, I have done a number of things over time with this. For one thing, we've got. Let's see, where's the lights? Here we are. Um, well, I created some custom shader things in order to make it so that the lights would look a little bit better. Um, uh, we just run into a lot of problems when we've got fake lights that are coming out because it just is going to wind up looking fake at various points. When you look at it from certain angles or just it's just it, it it creates challenges that we don't really have time to solve. I would prefer that we kind of avoid having those fake lights and just go with the emissive textures. Now, bear in mind um, for things like the usurper and whatnot, I have these crazy electrical patterns that um, I added on in animated shaders on top of this. Um, after the work that you did. And I want to move away from that because that is a non uh, PBR approach. And I want to stick with one cohesive PBR approach so that it looks 
coherent and cohesive. Um, right now, this is going to stand out really badly against the PBR stuff. So what that means is that if you put in your own emission lines and we don't assume there's some sort of animated shader and we uh, just just paint it cool, you know, uh, with the PBR painting over top of your cell shaded stuff, I mean, you've been painting stuff really cool. So um, that should work out well, I think. Um, I want to move away from having anything that rotates because it's, as I mentioned in the email, it winds up being a waste of space, uh, RAM and uh, VRAM and GPU bandwidth and so on. And so with that in mind, uh, stuff where we have like, this originally had a bunch of transparent bits, which I cut off. Um, those transparent bits looked cool though. And if you could blend those in, or I can switch to using fade now that I know to do that. Um, whatever makes sense on the Starship constructor, that's great. Having, you know, holes like this, obviously this is just a hole in the geometry. That's awesome. No problems. I'm plenty happy with that. You know, and the Starship goes in there and hooray. Uh, all is happy. So, I mean, that's still opaque geometry just with the hole. Something else that's been bugging me for quite some time, and I kind of painted over it, papered over it in some respects by having um, these uh, uh, um, animated electrical things, and I don't want to have the animated electrical things long term, is we've got these things which are clearly, well, they're not technically planes, but they feel like planes. Uh, by planes, I mean like a flat 2D geometric plane instead of something with depth. And I know these are like solar cells or something along those lines, but they feel so narrow. This one's actually not too bad. Uh, some of the ones over here uh, wind up feeling worse to me for some reason. It just... It just felt off. I don't know. Um, when you repaint these, repainting these in such a way that I can tell these apart, same kind of deal with the devious devices where these all have such a similar aesthetic that I just couldn't tell which one's what um, was a real problem. Um, I like that they have a similar aesthetic in that we can tell they're all related and having the cell shaded underpainting all be one thing is really cool. But then with the overpainting, making it so that we get some differences in color and differences in feel and that sort of thing, I think that will strike the right blend of making them differentiated, but also still saying, ah, yeah, okay, those are all related, but they're different. Um, last thing that I want to note is that uh, for the ones, uh, where did I put it? I think it's the Ruin Network node. I think that's it. Yeah. I made this one red so that it was clear that this was like a broken one. And all the other ones I had more going with like the blue electrical theme. Um, but these are all things where my crazy animated shader stuff's going away. And instead we'll have, you know, cool PBR lit stuff that, you know, is being painted directly in Substance Painter. And what you see is what you get when it comes over. Um, with the, um, what is this again? Shield Guard Stealth Starship. This is another one where it just didn't look right to me until I started adding on like the electrical lines and stuff. And I think this is a really cool effect. However, again, we start getting into some really non PBR uh, feelings. And I actually could blend um, PBR and non PBR stuff to have electrical masks along these lines. It is something I can do. Um, on the shader, um, it happens to be a non PBR shader that I've got at the moment. Um, I think I created this. Um, oh, come on. Oh, uh, no, somebody else did. Um, and then I adapted it. But at any rate, um, the idea is that uh, it's got this pattern that's going on. And it's got a mask and there's further stuff happening. 
So, I mean, I could, I could blend in uh, PBR stuff on top of that, but I kind of rather not because we're running so short on time. And again, I'm worried that we're going to wind up with a real disconnect and, and, we're able to do so many things with the PBR look where we're like, wow, that looks really electrical. That looks like, you know, a shell over water. This looks, you know, ribbed. That looks like it's, uh, you know, glowing, even though there's no bloom. And all the various things that we're able to do with the PBR approach, I don't really feel the need to go into crazy other shaders right now and risk having a disconnect in visual style and a, uh, waste of potentially dev hours finding that out so um for now that's what i would like to uh kind of shift to with some of these um in general also just as a side note notice how this is obviously the big parking lot but notice how it looks kind of circusy right now with just how darn bright and tron like everything is it's more apparent with the guardians of just how much glows on all of them. And so we don't normally have like a million guardians all sitting there um, in a group. We normally have lots of the little ships too, but just something to bear in mind um, when you've been painting, uh, you know, the things that you've done, the new things, uh, there's so much that's not emissive that looks amazing and um re relying on that a little bit more in a lot of cases instead of emissive uh bits i think will help again just kind of crank this up to the next level so this wound up not being about transparency uh as much as i thought it was going to be but uh anyway these are just some of my thoughts on the painting um, as we go through this next process. Thanks for watching.